Hi guys! So today, our discussion is more on pointers on how to record correct accounting entries or capital account. Thus, how will I record capital? That's easy. You need to debit cash and credit capital. So how will I know that the problem is telling about capital? That's easy. When the problem asks about investing money or capital that will be used in the operation of the business, they are the main key points to know that cash will be recorded on the debit side because it is an additional money for the business and credit side for the capital as an assurance that it's the beginning capital of the business. Is there a chance that there is no cash in both but still record or recorded as part of capital? What do you think? The answer is yes. Sometimes additional capital comes in when assets of one of the owners are given to the company instead of giving cash. Anyway, these assets are used for their continuous operation. Wow, that's pretty exciting. So, how we will record it? That's easy girl. Just debit the asset and credit the capital. You debit equipment, so any long-term asset that will be part of the operation. And you credit capital. So, thanks for enlightening. Is there anything I need to learn about capital? Yes. So, let's focus on the capital account. Hope, after this, you and your classmate can manage to record and understand capital account. Let's start! Original entry of capital is always credit side. Capital will increase when there is a net income. It will probably decrease when there is a net loss or there is a withdrawal or drawing of an owner on his capital that put on the business. If the business is a sole proprietorship business, we call capital as owner's equity, owner's capital, or just simply capital. Aye, so as I need additional notes, in a sole proprietorship, there is only one owner on the business. So if there is a net loss, she is the only one who will suffer the consequences or vice versa. If the business is a partnership business, we call it as capital or partner's capital or partner's equity. And because it's partnership, there are two or more actually up to 14 partners can open up this business. If there is an income or net loss, the earnings will be divided among them, whether equally divided through ratio and percentage based on capital, beginning or ending capital, etc. If the business is a corporation, we call capital as stockholders' equity. A corporation is an entity, meaning to say, there are 15 or more owners and usually handled by the CEO of the company who had 50% share on the capital of the company. Oops! Before we end this, do not forget cooperatives. Yeah, just simply record it as members' equity. Cooperatives only created for the members. Usually, the members are the owners and they are also the consumer patronizes their own product or services. So let's sum up, just remember entry of capital are always on the credit side. And it only decreases when there is a net loss or a withdrawal of the business. Bye guys, hope you learned something today. If you have time, click my YouTube, Chinka Store and subscribe.